Fun Fridays number seven. I did my 24 hour live Twitch stream this past Sunday, October 6th. And I know every single one of my subscribers is dying to know how to go. So I'm gonna take this video to just tell you guys about everything that happened on the stream. I'm gonna try to do it in a chronological order, but honestly, it was 24 hours of my life and it's, I'm having a very hard time remembering everything that happened in that period. So if I miss something, I apologize. I just wanted to make a fun Friday video where I can just talk and I don't have to do much editing because that's all this video is gonna be. It's just gonna be me rambling and I hope that's okay with you. But first, what's up? My name is Connor McDowell and I'm currently campaigning to be People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive for the year 2024. If you like this video or you think I should be nominated, just click subscribe. One subscribe equals one vote for me to be on the cover of People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive edition, and that's the edition that I deserve to be on. Also, you should totally follow my letterbox because I'm really hot and sexy and I watch a lot of movies. So if you wanna know the movies that I watch, you should follow my letterbox. Also, you should follow my new Twitter that I made because I am still one of the only sane people left on that platform. Right off the bat, I just wanna let you guys know that I did not get a full recording of the 24 hours. So if you are someone who was clamoring to watch a VOD of that. I apologize, there is no such VOD. I do have some clips, however, that I'll sprinkle throughout the video when I'm talking about certain things. I started off the stream by going through my entire PlayStation 2 games catalog that I own because I wanted to be able to set my PlayStation 2 up so I could stream me playing PlayStation 2 games. Unfortunately, the equipment that I bought to do that didn't want to work. That little freaking Elgato is such a finicky little product that it doesn't it doesn't want to work all the time. So I didn't get to do that. It took a very very long time learning about a German television show called Burned the Bread, and basically it's this giant bread puppet who gets himself into wacky situations. We watched a like a Star Trek parody one. I watched one where they parodied like Harry Potter and they dressed him up as Sailor Moon too, which was kind of kind of crazy. And I think my favorite part about it is that burned has a catchphrase that's mist and mist in german roughly translates to shit or crap or damn it and i think that is an awesome catchphrase for a child's puppet to have i think that's sick we talked a little bit about megalopolis but more specifically about how the way adam driver says yes in that movie in this specific scene reminds me a lot of talking ben entitles me yes <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I tried playing some games on coolmathgames.com. Specifically, I played a lot of Waterboy and Fire Fire Girl. Is that what it's called? Fire Girl and Waterboy? Fuck, that's the fucking La Shark Boy and Lava Girl. What am I thinking of? I'm thinking of Water Girl and Fire Boy. I played a lot of that. Eventually, I quit because that game is insanely hard to play when there's a lot of lag. And my computer fucking lagged a lot during this stream. I tried playing Papa's Cupcakeria, but it it just would not work at all. In fact, it almost crashed my entire stream. Papa Louie! More like Hawkeye. Also, a lot more Hawk Tua jokes were made than I was expecting. Tell us about the Hawks and the Tuas. <laughs> when a woman loves a man enough, all ironic, I, I swear to God. Hey, can you Hawk Tua today? My cats also kept running up and down my desk the entire time, which was kind of sick. Loki. Y'all see that tail? Except for one time when I was trying to build a Lego set and my cat just laid down right on top of the Lego set. We built this uh, Lego Miss Puffs boating school. Oh my God, Patrick, look out. <laughs> I did not just reenact 9-11, I promise. Which was a lot of fun to build, but I have absolutely nowhere to display this thing, so I already took it apart. But I also built this guy, which was which was also pretty sick. It's the Doctor Strange Sanctum Sanctorum from 2016, I think. It had some pretty cool features, like these guys, they move up and down. Whoa. But then this one over here, I can capture Doctor Strange in the tentacles of this monster. Actually, I actually really like this one. My wonderful girlfriend Morgan eventually came home from seeing Hey Riddle Riddle, the podcast, live. And when she came home, she also brought me some Domino's pizza. And that was sick. And we sat and we ate some Domino's pizza on stream. And she sat on the couch back here and we ate. 
and it was very yummy. I also reacted to a lot of stuff on stream. I made sure to always consistently be pausing and providing commentary anytime I would show things. So Jax Films cannot make a bingo card about me. I made sure of it. We watched uh, some epic rap battles of history. One particular one that did not age well at all, which I may do a video about sometime in the future. I kind of want to do a, a very big video about epic rap battles of history in general. So I'll talk more specifics about that. But if you were on stream, you know exactly which one I'm talking about. We watched some Impractical Jokers, which was freaking sick. I love Impractical Jokers, and anytime I can sit and just watch Impractical Jokers, I'm gonna have a blast. So in order to waste time towards the end of the stream, I just started watching a lot of Impractical Jokers. And I did a whole segment in the middle of the night where I turned all the lights out and I brought a candle out and I sat and I watched every single sketch from SNL that premiered the previous day. It was the second Nick Bargatze episode in case anyone was wondering about the time frame. Most of them I did not find very funny, but there were two of them that I very much enjoyed. I like the George Washington sketch sequel that they made. That one was pretty funny. Not as funny as the original, but still pretty funny. And I also thought the golf one was pretty funny. The rest of them, I, they were either not very funny to me to just kind of mediocrely funny. I did some karaoke. Te tequila, fuck, 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 fuck. That was a lot of fun. I admitted to some things that I probably just shouldn't have admitted to at all. Because there was a time when I killed a busload of, uh, of sixth graders, but that wasn't my fault either. They had it come. <laughs> that was a joke. But I think the best part of the night was when me and chat watched my subscriber count finally hit 9,000. But this is crazy. 8,999. I can't believe I caught it right at the fucking... We did it, fellas. And I straight up could not have done that without you guys watching right now. If you are one of the very few people that's actually gonna sit down and watch this video, thank you. Literally just you sitting here and taking your time out to watch this bullshit video about a bullshit stream I did means the world to me. I haven't live streamed in over a year at this point because of my knee injury, but also more importantly, the anxiety that came with streaming. If you don't know, it can get really, really hard and stressful, especially when nobody is watching you. But thank God I have such an incredible community that there was always at least one person actively watching and chatting the entire stream. If you are one of those people and you are watching this video, thank you so fucking much. It made the stream so much easier because I just know if I had to sit there by myself for any portion of that stream, it would have sucked. But no, it was an absolutely incredible time and I genuinely want to stream more. Also, something that's like not really important at all, but I was able to raise $200 in donations to my GoFundMe, which is something that I never expected. That outperformed my wildest dreams. I thought I was gonna make fucking nothing on this stream. It was more of a way for me to just get back in the flow and force myself to stream. And because of you guys, I can pay part of my rent this month. So thank you. Thank you so, so freaking much. You guys are the best. And to anybody who wasn't able to make the stream who wanted to be there, don't freaking worry. There's gonna be so many more streams in the future, okay? Maybe not 24 hour ones, cause I don't know if I could do that to myself again, but I will, I will definitely be streaming a lot more now. All right, well, that's gonna be it for me today. If you like this video, don't forget to click like and subscribe if you think I should be nominated to be People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive for the year 2024. This video was literally just a stream of consciousness, me just talking about my experience and how much fun I had streaming with you guys. And I know that if my channel continues to get successful that streams like this are going to become insanely rare so i just wanted to thank you guys for being there at the beginning i had people that were new to my youtube channel who were in there i had people who had been watching my content for four years in chat i had actual friends from real life in chat it was just an incredible experience so i wanted to make a video about it so me you can follow all of my social media including my instagram my twitter and my letterbox you can join my discord so you guys can stay up to date for when i post and when i'm streaming and you also get the opportunity to talk with people in our community which 
is freaking great. The links for all of those are in the description, as well as the GoFundMe link if you are still interested in donating. Anyway, I'm Connor McDowell, and I'm gonna go sleep for the rest of my life because I am so freaking exhausted. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.